Hi everyone, just a quick video on testing your car horn for function and the wiring that leads up to it. So obviously the first thing you do like any electrical test is check the fuse, make sure the fuse is okay. Fuse are designed to blow in the event of a surge of current, so uh, do check those first. I'm gonna do two tests to check this horn. So first I'm gonna do the voltage supply test. So I've got the wire here that normally plugs into the horn. So I'm gonna check the wiring. So that will tell me that the switch is good and all the associated wiring all the way up to the actual uh, horn unit is gonna be okay. So. I've put a pair of T-pins into two connectors and then put a pair of crocodile clips onto those. And the crocodile clips lead to a multimeter. I've set the multimeter to uh, 20 DC volts. Uh, obviously it's a 12 volt car battery, so 20 DC volts is a safe setting to put this on. Um, the car's battery voltage at the moment is 12.55. So I'm looking for a, a voltage number as near to that as possible. Uh, the closer that is to the battery voltage, the better condition the wiring is. So I'm just gonna lean over and press the car horn and hopefully with a disconnector we'll get a supply voltage reading to the horn so 12.3 volts so 12.3 volts is making it all the way to the horn unit itself so the wiring's good there's no issue with the wiring leading all the way up to it here the next test i'm going to do is i've put a power probe uh, onto the battery there you could just use a pair of crocodile clips hooked up to a 12 volt supply and there's two contacts in there. One I've already put the negative on because I've only got one hand while I'm filming. And the other one I'm going to use the power probe. I'm going to press onto the other connector and hopefully giving it direct battery voltage, this horn should go off. Uh, be careful not to make them touch each other, otherwise you'll get some sort of short. So here we go. I'm just going to press that contact there. So it's telling us a continuity, so here we go. Perfect. So with the battery supply voltage direct on the horn, the horn's working and I've checked the supply voltage and 12.3 volts are going through the wiring. So the wiring's good and the horn's good, so everything should work okay on here. Just bear in mind that most cars will have two horns, so if you are testing one in particular, maybe disconnect the other one just so you can actually confirm whether this one works or not. Because with horns quite close together, it's hard sometimes to know which one's actually firing and which one isn't. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you on the next one.